I was amazed at, you know, touching Uluru and, and thinking about the age of Uluru and those sediments that, you know, the some of it beyond 542, that very important figure at the beginning of the Cambrian period, a million years ago. And then you go out to places like Mount Augustus and, you know, that's a totally different age bracket again. And then you're walking on Yilgen rocks and, mm. and things and you're thinking, wow, billions of years old. But I'm touching right now the oldest thing I've ever touched it dated at the age of the earth, the oldest rocks of the earth, 4,600 million years. 4,600 million. 4.6 billion. This is the oldest thing I've ever touched in my life. Wow! Wow! Meteorite. Ah, oh. people just walk past it. It's like, there's a bit of rock. Yeah. There's a bit of rock in the corner of some place. <laughs> it is probably a fragment of an asteroid from an asteroid belt. Wow. Wow. It's amazing. I never expected to walk in here and touch something so old. Mm. Very few people have touched anything that old. Yeah, and I didn't even know. I've looked at it lots of times and all I've been thinking about is its texture. This takes us back to accretion. It takes us back to a time where if you, you look at this and, and think about all the, the accretion of our planet and the accretion of our neighbouring planets and the incredible collision between Thea and the Earth which formed the Moon. The formation of the moon took place from a collision between Theo is about the size of Mars, you know, and surviving that, that's, that's, that's the formation of, of the moon. And so you can imagine a huge moon, and you can imagine when the moon, the moon was much closer to the Earth, ten times closer to the Earth than it is today, and the gravitational pull of the Earth, think about the gravitational pull of Jupiter on Io, that volcanic moon. You think about, obviously, you know, they're much smaller, but when you've got a moon that close, like the, the moon being so close to the Earth as the moon used to be, you can imagine looking up and seeing volcanoes in the sky as this huge thing passed overhead. In the sky, directly above our heads, huge volcanoes blowing off the moon as it passes over. And this is what this takes us back to, those kinds of visualizations. This is incredible. You, you know what's it? You know, it's seven or eight times older than all the root. Mm. You know. Wow. That's just been popped in the corner of the foil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a suitable place for it for a while. Until other things happen. It's just... It's inert for a while. There it is, just unassuming you see there. In Albany's museum. Oh,